Welcome back to the best of series. Today, we're looking at the best interviews this season, part two. We've already done the first 10 games. Let's have a look at what else we've got in store. We resume our footage at MK Dons away. I picked a few out, a few international fans, so I come in here. I'll come in the middle, boys. So I'll have I you over here, mate. You, uh... Right, so we've got Mike. Uh, what's your name, uh, mate? James. James. What's your name, buddy? Matthew. Matthew and Igor. Igor. Wow. It's Croatian. Igor from Croatia. Jesus Christ. We've got an American and a Croatian here tonight, so it's you like pretty following the town. I love following the town. I think James Norwood is God's gift to the green earth. I think Paul Lambert's a blue. He hates Norwich as much as I do, and they're going to have a big result tonight. Yeah. That's quality. And Igor, you're coming tonight. Are you looking forward to the game? Oh, can't wait, honestly. Yeah, do you reckon we'll get three points? It's a great start to the season, and I'm very confident we're going to get the three points. Yeah. So, obviously, from Croatia, yeah, originally. The football's quite good there in itself, but what do you make of English football? To be honest, uh, English football, uh, judging on this, League One, I mean, look at the stadium, look at the fans. I mean, it's quite a, it's quite a nice stadium. I don't know if you can get a shot there, but... I mean, that's, it's, it's, pretty cool. it's a top-notch stadium, isn't it? I mean, it, worthily bigger than Portman Road, I'd say, yeah. by a few hundred, but quite nice. Inter Milan-esque from uh, back in the day. Josh, look, his missus has let him out. How are you feeling, mate? All right, mate. Yeah? What do you reckon today? 3-1 town. 3-1 town. Confident, are you? I am confident today, yeah. Yeah. Have you had a few sherbets, have you? A couple, yeah. A couple of sherbets. Yeah, how can you sum up how you're feeling in three words? Very all right, yeah. So not the normal one then? No. What's the, oh, bloody buzzing boy. <laughs> um, what do you reckon of the stadium, mate? We said it for you. The weather's uh, lovely, isn't it? Perfect uh, picture. Look at that today. Weather's nice. Bit of a small stadium, isn't it? But, yeah. I mean, temp they say it's the temporary stand, and what's it been like? 10, 15 years like this, is it? No. How long has it been like this for? Well, yeah, it's been a while, isn't it? It's been a while. I mean, it's one of the worst stands we've been in, but overall, stadium's not, well... I mean, it's not too bad, is it? That's not, that's not great, but that's not the worst. No. I'll put it that way. So we're going for a 3 1 today, then? 3 yeah? 1 there. Come over. All right, boys, what's your name? Jack. Jack. Chris. Chris. Ash. Ash. He's after my job, I think. Anyway, boys, what are you expecting today? Let's firstly start. I've got a headline here. Lambert, you need fear. You need that fear of not playing to get into the squad. So a lot of players are, uh, are chopping and changing. They're coming out of the squad here and then. Every week we see a different lineup. Do you think that's going to keep us healthy going forward? Yeah, I think we've got the best squad in the league, so keep chopping it and changing it. It's keeping all the players fresh, and which we're going to, means we're going to win more games with the more players that we've got. Yeah, definitely. So. I 100% agree with that. What would you say in terms of the lineup today? What are you expecting? Any changes? A couple. You've got to keep Norwood and Jackson up front, I think, today. Especially Norwood playing against his old team, yeah. hoping for a hat trick. Um, Nolan. I reckon he should get a couple, couple more runs out of this in the next few weeks, especially today. Give him a chance. But then keep it as we've been going, same back four. Yeah. Especially old, um, our right back at the moment. Doing, yeah, quality very, player. very good quality, quality, quality player. player. Premier League player, some would say, some would say. But um, in terms of how we're doing so far this season, Ash, what do you expect us to do today? Another win? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping for another win. Um, I've been impressed. I had a season ticket for years and I got disappointed and I didn't get a season ticket this season and I'm regretting it, so... Well, you're not alone, mate, but anyone, anyone who was buying one would have bought one for this season, surely. Exactly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've been impressed this season and I'm hoping we can keep it up and go all the way. Yeah, we will, we will go all the way. Boys, what are we expecting today, anyway? Results? 2-0. 2-0? 3-0. 3-0? I'm going for a 3-0 as well. I thought it was going to go 4-0 there. Right Cheers, then, boys. so, yeah, we're in sunny Fleetwood today. No, no joke. Mate, I can't even see the stadium, it's so small. Tell <laughs> I'm joking, I'm here with Nafis, how are you doing mate? I'm alright mate, how are you? Yeah, yeah, not too bad, long coach journey, back's killing me, but you know, that's what happens when you get older. Oh I, yeah, um, I don't know, because I'm in my youth, I'm 17 but look 12, so, of course. Yeah. What do you say? 17, I thought you were 18 mate. 17, yeah, at the minute, I'm 18 next year. Yeah, get the points in, get the points <laughs> in. Anyway mate, um, how's things going this season with Fleetwood? Brilliant, mate. Yeah, we started well. 10 games, 20 points. And they always say if you average two points a game, you normally go up automatically, yeah. which is fantastic. We've come from behind a few times, which has been a positive. I remember the Rochdale game here a couple of weeks ago and the Wimbledon game. Uh, tremendous stuff, really. It's going to be a tough game today. You haven't lost, so 
great side, you've got great full backs. Vincent Young, who I think will play in the Premier League one day, he's so good. Garbit as well. Nord up top, Jackson, Nolan, Judge, they're just a few. Thomas Holy and Net, they're just a quality side. And obviously, I think we'll get a draw, but I think we'll be lucky to get the draw. Obviously, results aside today, uh, Fleetwood playing pretty well, like you said, yeah. 20 points set from 10, to averaging two points a game. Um, are you aiming for a promotion then, do you reckon? Of course, that's always the aim of the club. We've always been used to going up through the non-leagues. Um, of course, we are a smaller club in this league, but who knows? We nearly went up a few years ago. I think we got like 83 points from 46 games. So we did all right that season, but hopefully we can beat it again and hopefully we can write ourselves in history books. Yeah, lovely job. So what are you going for then today, score-wise? In my head, 1-1, one, one, but I think it's going to be 2 on either side. I have a feeling 2 on Ipswich, but... Yeah, it's going to be a really tough game, especially with you boys. You sold it out, which is incredible support, especially from 200 and odd miles away. Fair play, every single one of you. This is Jason, this is Ben. Boys, you come down with this Billy Key band you picked it up yesterday. Just tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's just done to really um, say that we're, we're in support of and, and the awareness of the mental health issues in yeah. football. Um, I didn't make it, somebody else made it, but he wasn't travelling to the game, yeah. so he just asked if I could come and pick it up from him, yeah. and, and we brought it down. Still drying on the way down here, yeah. but um, <laughs> yeah, it's dry now. Uh, we weren't going to get let in either, because it's not got a fire certificate. But well, they let you off today, then. That's a, that's a, yeah. that's a surprise, because we've had a bit of trouble with fire certificates um, before on our banners. But I think it's probably because it was for yeah. Billy Key, yeah. and it was one of their players. Yeah, of course it is. It's, it's good support, and it's good to mention, obviously, the problems that people suffer, mental health. Ben, how important is it to make sure everyone's aware of it? Well, I mean, everyone needs to know about it. It's an important thing to... Cause Men have this kind of thing where they've got to act tough, but really they need to say it's a big killer of young men and I think, well, it just needs to get out there a bit more, really. It's, it's the biggest killer of men in this country, um, suicide, and, and men do find it hard to, to talk about their problems. And you're right there, it is, it's a big thing, but Billy Key was a key striker for, for Agrindistan. He one who obviously scored against us last season and you know, caused a lot of problems for us. So the message really is you're not alone and, you know, as, as a club, as a whole, as a collective, as fans, we're all behind him, yeah? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously Flynn's had some issues as yeah. well, so it's just raising the awareness and, and trying to get men particularly to realise that it's fine to, to talk about it and it's fine to not be okay. Yeah, definitely. Well done for your effort to bring that up today, boys. All right, cheers. Oh, yes, I'm here with Craig. I'm here with George. I'm here with Nick. Yeah, I'm really good with names nowadays. Boys, how are we feeling about tonight? Uh... Yeah, a bit, bit iffy, but I'm feeling a bit confident. Yeah, expect to win, don't you? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> George, how do you feel, mate? I feel quite confident uh, yeah. about tonight um, after the dreadful loss at yeah. Accrington, which I don't want to say. Yeah, well, um, but did, did you go on Sunday, mate? But I didn't go. I watched yeah. it in... I'll tell you, mate, it was much worse than real life. Much worse. <laughs> I watched it in the Grosvenor um, in yeah. Felix, though. Yeah, so. good pub, that. Good pub, that. Yeah, yeah, very you old enough to get a drink, mate? Yeah, I'm 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is a bit taller than me. He is yeah. taller. You do look young, mate, though. You, oh, you know, geez, get your idea. Mate. Nick, how young are you, mate? I'm um, 14. 14. Mate. You're nearly taller than him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you enjoy coming down to the game? Yeah. Uh, I feel quite confident because we've only lost one this season. I think we've yeah. got this one in the bag. Yeah. Um, what do we think of Rotherham then? Do you reckon they'll, they'll pose a threat? A uh, bit of a threat. They've been quite good against yeah. the top half of the team, but yeah. um, we might we might pip them. I reckon it'll be a bit like the Wimbledon game. game. Oh, don't say that. That'll be a bit edgy. I hope it's not like Wimbledon. Like edgy games. Yeah, I do like edgy games, but I don't want one tonight. I want a nice, comfortable 3 0 victory. What are we going for then, boys? Uh, well, I'm going for 3 1 to town. Yeah, yeah. And even after that loss on Sunday? I think that we need to bounce back and yeah. show all the other teams in the league that we're actually serious yeah. and we're not going to play as this is pretty much of a joke of a league. So yeah. we're going back up to the championship. <laughs> Don't let anyone in League One hear that. <laughs> what do you reckon then, Nick? Final score, mate? 2-0. Two 2-0. Two Lovely job, boys. Come on. Cheers for that, mate. Anyway, let's move on. Let's come over here. Look, the armchairs are sitting down. We've got Jack and Andy here. Andy, look comfortable in your seat, mate. I know you like to sit at games. I love an allocated seat, mate. I'm comfy here, for, ready for the game ahead. But this is a weather, weather dependent here, mate. You might get drenched today. It's right. As long as I'm in my seat, I'm happy. <laughs> Oi, Jack, apparently you've got an affinity with Southend. To be honest, 
apart from the 10 or 20 I see in the stand over there. I've never seen or met a Southend fan before, but you've got a little story out here. Yeah, um, I was actually born and raised here, um, like, like just up the road um, at Rayleigh. Um, me and my dad, we were season ticket holders since I was three years old. Um, uh, and then, then I moved here when I was seven. So, yeah, but... Yeah. I think everyone's yeah. talking for you, mate, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. Look, his Troy, Phil, Lawsy's all over. lawsy has got, got the uh, sausage and chips in. We're at the famous uh, Wilbert's Lane traditional fish and chip shop. I've heard lots about this on the forums. Phil, how did you find the journey, mate, today? Long. Yeah. Swish to sit next to this guy for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> did you come down on the train? Uh, coach. Oh, my God. We're Troy. Coach for Troy. Oh, my God. Lawsy, just give us a quick uh, quick five-minute suggestion. Is it is it a good one? Hmm? How, how good is it, your your sausage and chips? Looks um, big looks, sausage. Love a big sausage. Looks ra- it looks smaller than um, the mics last last week, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's worth it, yeah. Don't get a fork though. Two p a fork. Two p for a fork. That is a rip off. Absolute rip off. Anyway, we're here at Rochdale tonight, boys. Um, you know, we haven't had much football in the last what? Must have been ten days since the last game. Yeah. Um, obviously, last last time out, beat Southend three one. Um, for me, not as convincing as I wanted it to be. Um, but something we can definitely build on. Definitely. Uh, I think we'll get another three goals tonight. But, you know, it's grounds like this, nights like this, where we're going to struggle, I think, in this league. Yeah. So We need we need, we need to come out and beat sides, don't we, Troy? Hell yeah, we should be beating teams like this anyway. But I think we'll, we'll be all right tonight. I think a funny feeling, yeah. So two weeks ago, we were, we were standing at Accrington and you said to me that we'd, we'd piss the league. But we didn't really think we were going to lose two games on a bounce then, did we? Not really, not them two shit performances, average performances against two teams as well. Akron was the Zarbolic going rather and well. Mistakes are in, just, I didn't expect us to lose two games, no way. No, it's the FA Cup. We haven't won since 2009. But let's come over to people who have seen an FA Cup win. I'm here with Ralph and Peter. Boys, I'll come in the middle. Yeah, 41 years since we won the FA Cup. How are you feeling about today's, uh, today's game, Peter Percy? Well, I'm hoping that uh, we actually break the hoodoo of recent years and actually see a cup win. It's about time we did. Uh, the Ipswich fans, traditionally, they love the FA Cup. And it's been... Just hold on one sec, Peter. We've got two young boys here. You right, lads? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, good. Today, What's yes. your little brother's name? George. You can tell your brothers you look exactly the same. Yep. What do you, are you expecting a win today? Yep, probably. Yeah, what's the score going to be? 3-2. 3-2, it's yeah. Cool, I love that. Love that. Where are you sitting today, do you know? Co-op stand. Yeah? Co-op here. Yeah. Is that you here with Dad? Has he got his Everton, um, Everton coat on today, or is he taking it off today? Taking it off today. Yeah, he has. Oh, yeah, I can see him over there. <laughs> all right, then, lads, you get back to Dad, all right? And I'll catch you later.